gives the procedure for unit load method. To find the unit load method, we have to follow the procedure as first you have to find the forces P1 and P2. In all the members due to external loads, you have to remove the external loads and then you have to apply a unit vertical point load at the joint. If the vertical deflection is required, then you have to apply unit vertical point load and then you have to find the stress. So apply the equation for vertical and horizontal deflection. By doing this, you can apply your unit load method.